This dude. This dude. So, three straight weeks. Three feet. <laughs> this is a three feet, dude. You might. You, you're looking. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna call too early because I mean we still got that big one coming up. But right now you're perfect in the summer smash. I don't know really. I've how beaten everybody but PP now. You've beaten everybody but PP now. PP's gonna be uh, at uh, Evo. Yeah. Honestly, like I'm not trying <laughs> to be overly cock, or whatever. But I feel if you win three straight weeks without dropping a single set to anyone, and you lose in best all of three, all from winners, all from winners. Yeah. And if you lose best of three at Evo, I'm still the best player. Unless PP. So you're saying you're the best player right now. You're saying you're the best player right now. You're saying you're the best player right now. Yes. You say you're number one in the world. Yes. It's obvious. <laughs> I won what? I'll, I'll admit, right before you sat in this chair, I said the words. I don't know if it's arguable <laughs> that yeah. I, if that Leffen's not not the favorite at Evo, because you just. Uh, you to just be to be fair, I ha I think I have a harder bracket because I play Hungry Box and then Armada. Yeah. And it's best of I mean, three. You've looked pretty good against Hungry Box. Yeah, it's just best of and three. And you've looked pretty good against I, Armada. I'm too. way worse in best of three, That's honestly. True. That's true. Uh, but yeah, I would say that I'm a favorite. I'm forced to, I think. But regardless, I'm yeah. doing pretty well. You're doing can't, pretty I, well. I can't lie. I can't lie. And uh, <laughs> I, I, <laughs> what what do, what do you account it to? Because you did have a rough start to the year. Uh, I think that's I think that's something with me. When I was banned, I was gone for a year. Yeah. And. The only result, I got ninth at EVO, which was still my highest placement, and I hadn't even uh, played anything. Mm -hmm. And then, but before then, my highest placement in America was 17th. I got ninth without playing, and then at Apex 2014, I got fourth. Right. And then it, that's what, like, really roast me to... Uh, Contention. To, yeah. And then, now I've been having it bad again. Mm -hmm. And, I don't know, I'm really sad when I'm sad. But is that what I, I, I kind of kick it pretty quickly so oh, here, here's the question you've done it all through winner's bracket they call Mango the loser bracket king are you the winner's bracket king if you lose in winners is it going to be sad leffin it's going to it might be no but I have a mental problem especially a press star and I'm not yelling in MG Sandstorm I felt like my mechanics were top tier like almost the best but my head uh, mindset was just awful right so I just sat down before the summer smash like I know I can do this. I know I got ninth last time, but I can still do this. I remember after those tournaments, uh, there's there's a tweet you put out which even said, "Why am I even playing this game anymore?" Yeah. It was the saddest Leffen tweet. I was like, I, "What, I what was timeline sad. am I on?" I had to recheck the icon. I was like, "Am I muting his timeline or on Leffen timeline?" <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Scrolled up, it was Leffen. I was like, "What's going on?" <laughs> no, I I got really sad. But then, even then, I still got second in teams. I, I was so sad. I threw my controller. I know. So the funny, the story about the controller is that I threw it once, not even hard, and the C bunnies exploded. We're like, wow, might as well throw it again. Bam. Really? I shin grabbed that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Just did a chic down throw chain grab. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> um, I'm not laughing about that. That's a beautiful controller. What, what is wrong with you? Panasonic controller. Rest in peace. Yeah. No, but. It's way easier for me, in general, to uh, motivate myself after I've lost. Yeah. Because, I'll be honest, I've been a bit lazy these couple, like these weeks because I've won so easily. Like, I really expected it to be like, I prepared myself mentally. Like, you won through winners? Yeah. The only, uh, the hard set you had this one was Armado's Game 5. Yeah. That was and close, that was close. Yeah. That was last talk. But that's the only last talk I should have The Mango one was like shockingly... Uh, no, uh, Mango plays very... Like, the thing is, Mango is very adaptive, but he has so many habits still. Not not even habits, but he has limitations, it feels like. He won't do anything else but jump forward air, jump double laser from the edge. Yeah. Like, he won't chain grab with Fox. He, he has these limitations that he put himself in. And there's a lot of things, like... If if nothing is happening, he's gonna approach. Right. I just walked away and dash and grabbed him. I noticed you had a lot of pause in your game against him. Like yeah. uh, things like, oh, I'm just gonna stay on the top line for a, a quick second. Yeah. And he was just like, yeah. Ma down Mango really. The, the hardest part about playing Mango is when he plays. Not when he plays good. That's just a myth. Like, oh, when Mango plays good, he's unbeatable. No. But when you play bad. Yeah. Mango is the perfect player at making you sh like. You're sure. struggling for air. There's nothing you can do, and you just can't touch the controller properly. But when you slow, when, when you manage to slow it down, it's so much easier. Mm -hmm. And I feel like 
I feel like that's why Amada always had the easiest time against him previously because uh, he was able to, you know, float, uh, up B. Yeah, Peach. Peach. He doesn't do that well with Fox. Like, I mean, uh, that, that set was weird. Yeah. It was like uh, Mango, whenever, I think if Mango, yeah. it's a game one set, right? Like, if Mango wins the Fox, you know. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, that's kind of how, whoever wins game one should win. So that's how it is, yeah, because of the counter picks. Yeah. But yeah, um, Ma Mango's super scary when he has you in the corner and when he has you uh, downloaded. Yeah. Uh, but as long as you can get out of that, and that's why I took so many pauses, because I know, like, Mango may look like he can read everything, but as long as I make a few right guesses, I don't have to punish his snares, yeah. I don't have to get hit by the shine. Mm -hmm. And that's why I, like, try, try to do I just, like, all right, I'll jump away, I'll roll, I'll get to the edge, I'll just slow it down a bit. And when you do that, Mango suddenly becomes so much more human. Yeah. So, you have six days. Six days. Tell me how these six days are going to go. Uh, honestly, my wrist, my right wrist, no, left wrist. <laughs> I was looking at it like that. Uh, it's kind of sore. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's an actual problem. I've just overused it a bit. It's gonna rest. So I'm going to rest for a bit at least and then see how it feels. Mm -hmm. Today I didn't really warm up that much. I used to try to focus mental, like keep my mental state good because I don't want to risk, you know, making bad for Evo. Mm -hmm. And I know like everybody looks at this Evo like the f final thing, the most important thing ever. But there's going to be so many years. Yeah. Th Smash is not going to die after Evo. Yeah. And I think, I think uh, the chant at the, the first Evo, Evo well, not the first yeah. Evo, I guess, but Evo 2013 yeah. was uh, one more year. Yeah. That was that one dude in the crowd that was like, we're doing one more year every year. That was my chant. That yeah. was like every year. Now yeah. I'm pretty sure we're going to get it. I mean, there's yeah. no reason not to. No. S Mr. Wizard said himself, like, I think Smash is here to yeah. stay. And we pull a great numbers. As, I, lo as long as there's still people in streams like this yeah. watching us, still people showing up to tournaments like this. Yeah, there were so many amazing day. matches today. Oh, there's so, so many game fives. Mewtwo, King Mango. Oh. But that's the thing with Melee. It always delivers. It, oh, it it's, always it's amazing. Why has there never been a, a bad top eight? A bad top eight. Never. You cannot tell me, stream, try to find me a tournament where there was a bad top eight. You can't. Yeah. You can't do it. Honestly, the only one I can think of is Evo 2013. Nah, that wasn't a bad top eight. It was Mago Wobbles, running through Wobbles everybody. Xbox? Oh, that's true. That was a great set. Yeah. And Mango run through but, but it was, was bad because they didn't know it was best of three. Yeah. Also, if you had best of five, I don't think it's possible to have a bad top eight. That's, that's true. That's true. Yeah. yeah. This tournament, top 32 was best of five. Thank six. you. Six, six. Thank you. You can thank someone for that yeah, yeah. anytime. I remember it was this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Would I have lost any set? Uh, no. Maybe okay. our modern one. If semis wait, aren't wait. best of five. No, I won on FD and then Pokemon. Oh, I see. I see. But yeah, it, it's it's hard. Sometimes, sometimes it's really hard. I think the only wait, yeah, the only game five I've been in is this one and the one against Mewtwo King. I guess I'm Yeah, you had Mew wait, you had Mewtwo in game five today, did you? Yeah. Yes. yeah I have the side B. I'll the side B off. <laughs> yeah. Oh! Honestly, like uh, that was crazy. But I still didn't think you were gonna lose the game five just because Dreamland. Yeah. No, I felt like I very soundly outplayed him in the neutral. You're what? FD. You won a game on FD. Yeah, I finally did it. Uh, I should have won some game. Yeah. game you three. were uh, exploiting his uh, chain grabs. Yeah, uh, it's not really exploiting. It's just him messing up. Messing up. And People yeah. think that Mewtwo King is this amazing chain grabber, but he's really just what an average player should be. Mm -hmm. per a top player who's sponsored should never drop a chain grab on a fox. Yeah. Not consistently. Mm -hmm. And he does the imperfect follow-ups. So. Yeah. That's the only reason I can win because the Mars don't smash DI and they don't chain grab. Yeah. I'll be honest. If they did that, I would have to play Marth. Marth did those? Yeah. Is that, is that, uh, yeah, that's your like super secondary now, right? Yeah. Uh, I, I've been putting in a lot of work with my Marth. Uh, you could go Yoshi. Yoshi Marth. Hey. <laughs> Yoshi Marth is a really fun matchup, actually. It is, it's man. super dynamic. It's crazy. <sighs> um, but yeah, Evo. Oh my god, it's going to oh be such man. a. It's going to be crazy. So it's again, you said you have Hbox first, and then, then you have Armada. I, Actually, first, so first, first round, I have Ua. The first round of the whole tournament? The first round of the whole poor, tournament. Poor Best Ua. of three. Poor Ua. Yeah, we, we try to report it. It wouldn't change poor it. Poor Ua, man. He's going to have a... Well, I mean, poor everyone in losers, right? Because Ua is going to tear Yeah, but losers. even then, what if I lose because it's 10 a.m. and I haven't warmed up and it's Fox the Hills? He's okay. He can definitely take two games. That's going to that's gonna be a tragedy. I'm going to... Yeah, yeah, Ua can do it. <laughs> Let's, Ua. Go, Ua. Let's go, Ua. Let's go, Ua. Let's go. 
That'd be no. sick though. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah, then I have I don't know who I have, and then I play Sue like really early, like surprisingly early too. Apparently, someone said this. We're Matt Dad Seb meets Vish. That's what I play Sue, and that's really weird. <laughs> you play Zoo then? Wow, Zoo's yeah. pretty hard. And then I play Lucky, supposedly. That one. That one's really yeah. hard. Hacks or Hungry Box Armada, and then Winter Finals. You've uh, you used to be you used to call Foxy Doe's your worst matchup. It now was. it's looking like one of my best. One of your best. Yeah. How that happen? Uh, I've already said this once in a long talk, but. You know the Starker played Jadong? Yeah. Yo, that's my favorite player. I I just watched. It was just I was just watching a documentary on him, and in an interview, like he was known to make Serg versus Serg consistent. Mm -hmm. And don't hate me on this, but it has been like two years. But mm -hmm. <laughs> I believe the quote he said was, "Like how can you how can how could you make it? Like you require a special kind of confidence to make like to win that. Mm -hmm. I think I have that confidence. Right. And after that, I just realized like I can't back down from the Fox Tidal. Right. If I if I'm more confident and I believe that I can be more determined and more confident than anyone else, then I should be able to she win this win. consistently. Yeah, and uh, the the Zerg versus Zerg, if you guys don't know, Starcraft is an incredibly volatile matchup. Yeah. It's a matchup that is honestly like sometimes decided in the first few seconds, depending on what build order you go for. Yeah. Uh, the Fox, you know, known for being volatile, that's why a lot of top players shy away from it. Yeah, and you see things like the like Mango going Falco. Um, but yeah, I guess you know you were like <laughs> you went the other path. You went yeah. the path of just learning the ditto. In my life, I almost always tend to uh, do the man against machine. <laughs> it doesn't matter what it is. If there's a challenge, I will take it and I will beat it. Yeah. <laughs> no matter how ta long it takes. And I was losing to Armada so badly. I dreamed on. I was heartbroken when I lost that. Well, there was like a period where, yeah, you uh, Salvi Shell was the second best player in Europe, but yeah. Armada was beating you really hard. Yeah. Just like he always did, like to every second other best player in Europe. Yeah. Uh, but then I just thought like... What can our model? What is his body capable of that mine isn't? Mm -hmm. Nothing. Ultimate gamer genes. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Ultimate gamer genes. <laughs> and I just thought like I can do this better. I ha I could have a better neutral game. I could ha I could a better execution. I could do this. His punish game is gonna be really hard to top. As long as I keep that okay and I beat him on everything else, I'll be fine. And now he's going different characters against you. Do you think that's gonna last? Do you think he's gonna stay Fox Dittles against you for a long time? This summer. This summer. Yeah. But. Yeah, I don't know. I, it's I, been I the last three times, right? Yeah, I, I felt... Yeah, four sets now. Four sets. Yeah, there was a curse where I threw three sets, he took six. I threw three sets, he took six. Oh, so maybe he'll turn back around. We'll yeah, see. but I broke the curse. This one was really close. Yeah. To fair. No, but Fox Dittus is just like, I have to play Max. If I don't play Max, then he he will, he can win. This punish game, like... It's comparable, maybe better than yours. It seems relatively even in, yeah. the, in the Fox Dito. Yeah. As Peach, is, uh, his punch game is definitely yeah. ridiculous. But. I worked kind of hard on DIing and stuff like that and making it hard to punish because he has you know, his tree, and if you can make it take the, wor the, the worst, worst option, and you can make it easier. Because he isn't that good at converting nares or converting you know, up tilts or down tilt. He is the up air master and he oh will yeah. always be the up air master. Everyone's starting to do those uh, up airs now where yeah. you do one up air and then you just like jump over them and yeah. fall through up air. Falling up air. Yeah. And I believe everyone's going to do the Amala shine where you hit the last part of the up B with a shine. Yeah. If you don't, what are you doing? Yeah. Me and Armada, every winter finals, are doing always showing, laying a hit air on the table. This is how you play Foxitos. Play, play it like this. Mm -hmm. And I still see so many foxes not do anything about it. Yeah. The good thing about that one is that, like, basically, what you're supposed to do is uh, time it between the last pulse of the upbeat and then when it before yeah, it Yeah, the last pulse until it fires has 11 frames. A lot of characters can do that, honestly. Yeah. It's not just no. fox. Like No, but fox is the best because he gets a guaranteed kill no shot. matter the percent. Yeah, exactly. But, uh, yeah, Pe like, he does it with Peach. He does it with uh, Falco. Like, no matter who he plays, he does that. And that, that, that 11 frames... Yeah. It's gonna haunt Fox Mains for the rest of our lives. Forever. Yeah. I got hit by it, and I was just like, "Why oh. don't I do this?" <laughs> <laughs> I also play Fox. I'll do this. Yes. And then, like, his up becomes like, "Why don't I do this?" Yeah. And that's basically. I used to look at Armada. What is he doing well? What is he doing bad? Mm -hmm. I didn't see the bad until I got really good in the good matchup. enough to see it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I just level up in general in the Fox a lot. That was my main. Uh, you know, so, target. of the five, who do you think is your hardest opponent at this point? <sighs> Maybe PV because you haven't played him for a while. I think I'll beat PV. I, I should have beat him at Apex. I just like I had the better 
overall, I feel like, about uh, Apex, I just choked away so many and I SD'd a couple of times. So, of the five, who's the hardest then? <sighs> Probably Armada or Mango. Honestly, those are the only three players I ever consider to be even remotely close to my level. <laughs> Armada, Mango, and PP? Yeah. Like, we all have this six scars, whatever, but there's two people who can't win a tournament. Mm -hmm. You're putting me in the same spot as someone who can't win a tournament? Get out of here. Mm -hmm. uh, there's four mm -hmm. players, four great players, and there's nothing. That uh, Those other two, though, they're still, they're still quite a bit, of, it's not quite a bit above, but they, they're still up above, like, West yeah, Balls no, and Axe. They're, and they're, and they're and above, but not in, like, yeah. they're trade sets. I think, I think if West Balls won this set against Mewtwo King, I think a lot of people would have uh, started questioning where Mewtwo King uh, is on the tour yeah. placement. No, Mewtwo King is definitely really, really good. Of course. But you can't call someone a god if they can't win a tournament. Like, do you know what the word god means? Otherworldly being? Well, I think... I think uh, otherworldly being. I think being. that the god thing... The reason why some people still don't call you a god, even after all this... Yeah, it's an era. It's, it's, it's more of an era than it is uh, anything else. Well then, I'm better than the gods. I'll, I'll take that. I'll take. I'll be the god slayer who's better than the gods. I'll take it. <laughs> god slayer is better than God. Okay. I um, mean, I don't know. I don't. I, I don't know. I used to think it's you're silly. the non-believer, right? What's a, <laughs> what's, non a what's a king to a god? What's a god to a no, non-believer? Yeah. No, isn't it a mob? What's a mob to a king? Yeah. What's a king to a god? What's a what's a god, god to a non-believer? Non yeah. I love that. That the image, if you guys haven't seen it before, <laughs> yeah. it's nuts. That's so good. Honestly, Melee has the best storylines. The storyline is nuts. Like, what is this anime? It's yeah. so anime. It's so anime. It's so anime. How to get it, so anime? It was even more perfect when everyone played different characters. Yeah. But now I, I'm in here and Armada played Fox. Like, back then it was perfect. <laughs> I think I might reverse around back to that. Like seeing the manga go Falcon on FD. I don't yeah. know if you, I don't know if he'll do that at Evo anymore though. After seeing that, he won't have to play it at FD unless he unless they do best of five. Oh in yeah, because the way the seeding is, right? Yeah. Unless they go to grand finals against each other, I guess. Yeah. I mean, winter finals could happen too, but yeah. I'm not gonna lose. So. Ooh. Ooh. So so you have oh yeah you have Armada yeah they could do it it's best of five winter finals right? Maybe. Yeah. We don't know. They they did that last year but they didn't do the first year and they haven't put a word and it's bigger now so yeah. uh, we'll see yeah we'll see but yeah um let's end this i i, I know mango is doing the whole when you wait to get interviewed that's the worst feeling you wait like a good 50 minutes while the, the winner tells his life story and you just wait like can you're, i just you're making a wait right you know it's funny though <laughs> That me and PBJ can still kick you off at any time we want. Yeah, but I'll leave now so you can't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, shout out to TSM. Thank you so much for taking care of guys. me. Um, shout out to all my fans. You guys know the whole hula hoo. Yeah, you guys can always go check them out twitch.tv slash LFFN. So LFFN without the yeah, without ease. the E's. And um, yeah, yeah, you see my Twitter there. He's on all the time uh, and hang out. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Peace. I'm going to have Mango on next. Mango.